<laughs> I had a pretty decent day today, all things considered. Didn't start out that way. I uh, got a little, uh, a little bruising blood brister on my ring finger here. Because my dog, he got stuck. Uh, there's a couch and there's a bunch of boxes over it because, you know, we're uh, cleaning up and putting things in the storage. Um, and we've been doing that for about over a year now and we're still not done. And um, and every time I tried to pull him out, he would bite me and I finally just pulled him out and it was just like, just, it was just... Just Charlie being Charlie. That's that's my dog's name. I call I call him Prince Charlie, or I guess should be King Charlie now, because he is just like so overdramatic. Like you know, he wants he just barks and barks and barks when nothing goes his way. You know, like he has to be first in line. He has to always eat your food. It's just you know, but but he is but he is a good dog, and um, I can't stay mad at him for too long. And then I got bit by a spider on my foot, presumably. I'm not going to show it off because, uh, you know, uh, I don't like showing off my feet because uh, I, um, well, I don't wear shoes in the house because, like, who does? Uh, I, uh, I am not the type of person who shows off his feet. So, um, yeah, you're just going to take my word for it. I had a bug bite on my foot, and it was just like, it... It sucked. Uh, luckily, it wasn't like a black widow or a brown recluse or anything like that. It was just a normal spider bite. And then um, I went with Stomper Yoshi to the fair. Uh, today, we went to the Tennessee Valley Fair. Uh, and it was pretty good. We got to eat some food. We didn't try any of the like more southern southernish foods like fried Oreos or fried candy bars or anything like that, and they wonder why we're so fat. Um, I didn't try much of those. Uh, I just had, like, chicken, chicken tenders, and I, I, I almost went with chicken on a stick, but I didn't. I went with chicken tenders and fries, and I, uh, they don't, they did not salt the fries or the chicken, which is kind of a big no for me, because I, um, I really love salty foods, and I can't really, um, I, 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 um, you know, pot fried potatoes and s salt, like, you can't have one without the other. It's like, it's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what a good analogy is. It's like, it's like you can't have, uh, you can't have banjo without kazooie, you know, you like, it's just... That's just how it is for me. It's just like, it's just salt and potatoes. It's just like, I can't, I can't have it any other way. Call me basic, but like, you know, that's, that's just, that's just what I am. I'm, uh, my favorite food, my favorite food is actually olives. So, like, green olives with like pimento. Like, that's, that's like my favorite snack ever. And, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get some more. I, I think there's some, anyway. But, yeah. Um, after we had a pretty lame lunch, and I had, and we went on some of the rides, which I didn't film because I, uh, I was, I was too afraid of breaking my camera, but they were fun. There was one ride in particular that I, it was the Matterhorn ride. It was, like, they had, like, a siren and a train horn every time it goes off, and a smoke machine and strobes, and it was just a um, craziness. Like, the best part of it for me was the fact that, like, <laughs> on, on the backs of the carts, they're, like, each cart is, like, from a country, and, like, all of the carts just have, like, some flag that doesn't, a flag representing the country, and some of the flags are just kind of, like, eh, off, like, like, uh, Russia is using, it's, uh, like, Russia has the hammer and sickle, and uh, these have the imp imperialist Japan flag, which is pretty fucking odd, considering the fact that you know that's those two flags are kind of not 
Not good. Not real received in the South. <laughs> Especially the Russia one. Although I do admit that it is pretty ballsy that they put it on there, but still. We, um, in fact, uh, Stomper and I, uh, Ethan, uh, Stomps and I just joked and we called it the, uh, politically incorrect Matterhorn. Other than that, the rides were fun, and, uh, I got to pop some darts in the balloons, and I won. This bear got $20 per, for two balloon pops. <laughs> it's the fair. Uh, he cost 20 bucks, and the, uh, person in charge, uh, actually, no, we got, I got, he got $10, because, this is, this is $10, because, um, I popped two balloons, one for me, one for even, one, one for Stomper Yoshi, and, yeah, uh, we, uh, I got a big red bear, and the hostess was, um, you know, kind of, you know, kind of touchy, kind of like, you know, like, Wow, you kind of suck at darts, and I did, because I, I threw, like, 12 darts and only had two balloons. And it was just bad. I, I was bad. So, 20 bucks. So, 20 bucks down the hole for, I think it's worth it. But, you know, she, she just radiated, like, snarky goth girl energy. I don't know if that's, like, a thing, but... You know, uh, if it isn't a thing, then I'm gonna make it a thing, and uh, if that makes me weird, then so be it. Uh, Rebel Taxi gets away with it, so why can't I? Uh, I was a little disappointed we didn't go see the animals, but like, there probably wasn't any like animals up there, and we didn't see like the agriculture thing with all the uh, old gas power, you know, all the gas power machinery and stuff, although it was up a hill. And, like, I didn't feel like... We didn't feel like walking up a hill. Uh, same with the Jacobs building. It was top of a bunch of stairs. We didn't want to go up it. And, like... It was top of a bunch of stairs. And, like, we didn't want to go up a bunch of stairs. And, like, even then, the Jacobs building... Not really much in it. And... Um... And... There never really was much in it. It was mostly, like, you know... Mostly, you know, just religious nuts and pro-lifers and like people just handing out Bibles like they're freaking hotcakes or like New York rolls or something like that and uh, people will just the sh and like at least the Shriners are like you know at least the Shriners are nice I like the Shriners like what, what, last time I was at the fair uh, 2019. Uh, I didn't know my sister fell down some stairs and dislocated her knee uh, until like 30 minutes afterward, and I went back and somebody told me, and I was like, oh shit, and dad left a message because my phone's on silent and all that stuff, and my, uh, I couldn't get a ride, and like for five minutes I was stopped by some guy talking to me about like, if this is a picture of heaven, there's a picture of people going to heaven. This is a picture, picture people going to hell. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you, son. Do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to go to hell? Hey, uh, get, get, get uh, I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got a chair for you. We're going to talk about it. And I was like, I'm like, dude, I have to see my sister. I, I don't know where the hell I'm going, but the only place I'm, I know I'm going right now is the fucking hospital because my sister's there. And, uh, you know, it's just, just, I don't like going to that building anymore, it's just, I know it from the back of my hand, because I went, I went to, like, three Robo Rodeos, and I, I, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to see that building anymore, to be honest, but, of course, other than that, I, um, we had a great time, and, uh, now, we had a great time, and we, uh, I managed to get a shirt. I managed to get a shirt, and, um, you know, they say money doesn't buy happiness, and I will admit, I use a lot of my dad's money because, you know, he's a fucking landlord, and, you know, I know I have a Patreon, but, like, I know I have a Patreon, but, like, that's, that's because I want to get away from my dad, <laughs> and I'll get away from my family, so I don't, I don't like being, like, a, uh, sucking off my dad's money. 
and I don't like sucking off. I, I, it just doesn't sit right with me. But, um, but yeah, I got, um, they say money doesn't buy happiness, but for $70, you can get, I got, uh, for $70, I got, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is Drunk Banjo. And, uh, it is a, I, um, I got this shirt. This is a, this is basically, this shirt's basically kind of an inside joke between me and Sobs and a bunch of our friend groups. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of in our, uh, our, uh, like, meme, <laughs> our friend meme. And, uh, it's related to a script that I haven't completed yet, and, uh, it's probably... I have a final deadline of December 31st, so uh, it's going to take a few months to get done, and with college, I'm backed up on college work, so it's probably going to take like a few months to, probably going to take until December before I can get it done, and that's, you know, like, December 31st at the very latest, and by the way, people, people who made this amazing shirt, uh, they are uh, joyfulairbrush.com. Check out their website. They do amazing work, and uh, yeah, they are amazing. And but that that pretty much made the entire trip worth it. And yeah, we had some you know bad food, good rides. Isn't that what you want in a fair? And um, drunk banjo shirts. And yeah, of course on the way home uh, we also. I had I almost had a heart attack because Tennessee nearly choked away uh, a victory over Pitt in the last quarter and then went to overtime and Tennessee defense came the clutch and Tennessee won it 33-27 and I'm incredibly happy for that and uh, made me happy as a tight as a, as a Vols fan and a Titans fan. Um, and made me incredibly happy. So that's gonna do it for me today. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna sleep, do some college work because I'm way overdoing it. And yeah, that's uh, that's it for me. Uh, I'm Russ Ralston, and I'm done. Oh my God, the chicken first said, "Hey, you're gonna be on furry YouTube, man." Yeah. <laughs> nice. He's gonna be on furry YouTube. Yes.